The 14th annual Fireline Towson Invitational at beautiful Prospect Bay Country Club in Graysonville got underway Friday morning, a full 22-team field taking the course. Towson easy to spot all day long thanks to those black and gold houndstooth print pants. As for how the Tigers fared on the course, we start with Ken G picking up the action. On the 10th hole, this putt to save par, he got it, and G played number five but put up the Tigers' second best score of the day with an opening round 76. Elsewhere for Towson, checking in with DJ Honan in a little trouble on number 10, putting from off the green, that was his third shot, gets it close and he would be able to tap it in for his par, but it was still a tough day for Honan, an opening round 83. Playing in the third position for Towson, senior Justin Kohler got off to a great start out in 37, but had a little trouble on the back nine. This putt for birdie on 18, can't believe he left it short. It would have matched G's 76. Instead, Kohler had to settle for a 77. Moving ahead to sophomore Joe Gunnerman. Normally solid for the Tigers, but Gunnerman had one of those days. A nice flop shot here on 13. Looks to be a bogey at worst, but then the putter fails Gunnerman. He would double bogey number 13 with a 7. He shot 83 on the afternoon. Story of the day for the Tigers, aside from those black and gold pants, none other than sophomore Matt Fry, a big bright spot for TU in the opening round. Got off to a little bit of a slow start, but then got rolling midway through his round. Had birdies on 7, 8, and 11. Here he is on the par 3 15th in a little trouble, but runs it right up next to the hole. Good enough for a tap-in par on the par 3 to keep him even on the day. We move ahead to number 18, this is Fry's third shot on the par 5 18th. And you really can't do it much better than this. Lands it to within two feet of the cup. A tap in birdie for Fry. And a one under 71 in the opening round. That puts him in a tie for sixth place after the opening round. And according to Fry, that kind of momentum can make you feel pretty good heading into the weekend. I have a good short game, so I'm not too worried if I hit it bad. I can I can trust it to get up and down whenever I need it. It's just it feels better when you're hitting it well on the you're hitting the greens and you have putts for birdie and not those ten five footers for par. I'd rather have those those fifteen footers for birdies all the time. He played the back nine great and clearly the back nine is much more difficult than, than the front did. The way he hung in there, you know, doesn't quit, always plays hard, works it out has unbelievable demeanor out there. It's it's not surprising, but it's it's always great to see. My thinking never really changes if it's a good shot or a bad shot. It's always the same over every shot. So I just needed something just to kind of get me going, make me feel more confident when I'm over the ball, and uh, just get the ball to roll in the hole. And that's, that's what started happening around the seventh and eighth hole. That's what started with the four under with the last uh, 12 holes. 